guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup makeup haul and what I got in PR the past week or so. Um, I got my packages right here behind me. I did go ahead and already open them up. That way I'm not like tearing open packages and it's taking forever. So I don't want this haul to be super long, but I did want to share with you guys some new makeup products that I received or that I just recently picked up. I am wearing some of them today and I'm actually really enjoying them. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get going. Okay, so like I said, I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys some products that I picked up recently or products that were sent to me in PR. I'm not gonna do this in any particular order. I'm just gonna start grabbing packages and talking about products that I picked up. So I've shown you guys these products before on my channel, but I did wanna go ahead and just like formally talk about them, I guess. These are two new Huda Beauty products. The first Huda Beauty product is the Nymph Not Your Mama's Panty Hose. I got the color Luna. Now, this product is described as like a body highlighter, I guess you could say. Um, well, actually it says it's an all over body highlighter. And when I first saw people start using this on their face, I was like, huh, huh, what, what are you doing to your face? Um, but seriously, this is such a bomb primer. I really, really like it. It looks a lot lighter in the tube though that it comes on pumped on. So if you are my skin tone or even a little darker or lighter, I would go with the lightest shade, which is Luna. It does have a very, very nice pump. It's a really easy product to work with and it blends really well. I have used this on the skin a couple of times. Honestly, it's not my favorite. I like to mix it in with a moisturizer. On its own, it's not the best, but if you mix it in with a moisturizer, it does look really good. But I've definitely been enjoying this more as a face primer. The other Huda Beauty product we have is the Tan Tour Contour Slash Bronzer. Oh my God, I love this product so much. Now, for me personally, when I do like a cream contour, I prefer it to be like in a stick form like um, KKW Beauty, the Clinique Chubby Stick, Anastasia Contours, I'm trying to open this, um, things like that. I just feel like it's a lot easier to put on your skin versus it being in like a pot form like how she has and then having to like save the topper and put it back on every time to make sure the product doesn't get dried out. This is what FAIR looks like. I've noticed that this product um, throughout her line, like the FAIR to the rich, I think it's the darkest shade she goes. They do carry more of a red undertone to them, so you really wanna be careful with them. The nice thing about this product though is that it does blend out really simple and really nice, so even if you go too heavy-handed or you pick up a shade that is a little bit too dark, chances are it's gonna work for you. I've seen people my skin tone and darker use fair and it works for them, it works for me. It's what I have on today as my base for a cream contour, and it's just a really great product. Um, the price I think is like 20 something bucks, but you get a lot of product in this compared to stick forms. So there's that that's also a plus. Moving right along, I gotta like position myself. Um, <coughs> oh, I actually didn't open this one, but um, moving right along, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh my God, oh my God. Like where do I set all this? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one. This is from Rimmel. Ooh. This is a package from Rimmel. So let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Try not to show my address. Ugh, this is sticky. Right, so let's see here. I have no idea what this is. Um, it looks like eye products. Okay, yeah, that's all. So yeah, I was right. These are eye products, comes with a little PR card. It says Rimmel London Line and Defy with Rimmel London's eyeliners, go bold and smudge it on with our creamy waterproof coal formula or blend on our soft coal for a subtly smudged look. So they sent over five and um, actually I really love this one. This is a really good one. This is just the nude one. Um, the, yeah, this is just nude and it's waterproof. I'm actually gonna open this one. I used to buy this all the time before I started using the Marc Jacob ones. So if you want one that's like a nude 
eyeliner, coal liner for your waterline. This one by Rimmel is really good. I'm opening it because I'm actually going to keep it on my makeup um, stand while I get ready within the next couple of days to just switch up the products that I have. They also sent over a thick and thin eyeliner. They sent over a soft eyeliner. They sent over a liquid like felt tip liner. And then this one's interesting. This one looks like some kind of weird tip eyeliner. So those will be cool to try out. Thank you so much Rimmel for sending that over. Next up we have my queen, one of my queens, Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, so first of all, um, Charlotte Tilbury, like I'm on their PR, but then I'm not on their PR. Like I get like the big collections, but I don't ever get like smaller collections oops, that um, I see like a lot of other influencers getting. So I think they have like a tiered um, PR system, which I'm totally fine with because when I opened this package, I was shook. Okay, I was shook. Um, she literally does packaging amazing. It comes like you bought a $5,000 handbag. It's wrapped up with a bow, it looks so bougie. Um, and then like the actual box it comes in is the same thing. It's like you bought a $10,000 handbag. You just kind of like wiggle it up and it just pops up. And then this is what it is. So she sent over the um, Glowgasm light up your world it says darling i'm so excited to introduce to you my new glowgasm collection use this makeup magic to light up your world it's my next level of glow share your beautiful glow look on instagram with me darling it's a joy filter for the face lots of love charlotte so that's really cool um and then she also sent over what are these these look like little glowgasm stickers and then it comes really nicely packaged and then you have all of the products in here. So I'm gonna go over the products that are part of the Glowgasm collection. The first two products are the, or actually there's three of these, yeah. The um, first three products are the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wands. Now she has quite a bit of beauty wands in her line. She has the contour ones and a few other different colors. But these are the three that she came out with in this line. This one is like a rose gold color. And then you also have like a true gold color. And then this last one is like a combination if you were to mix these two together. So these are what the Glowgasm highlighters look like. I've actually never tried any of these like highlighter wands from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm really excited to try them out. Um, I'll probably end up using these like in a first impression high-end makeup tutorial because I've really been enjoying those, like me watching them on YouTube. So I'll probably use these in an upcoming video. So just keep watching my channel if you're interested in these because they'll pop up eventually. And then we also have the Glowgasm Face Palette. Funny story, when this was going on, I think she launched this right around the Sephora VIB sale. I was gonna pick this up, I was so tempted, but it's so expensive that I was like, it's like $75 I think. I was like, yeah, it's not gonna happen because I just spent a ton of money at the VIB sale. So I waited and I didn't pick it up and then the sale came and went and I was like, damn, that's such a pretty palette. I wish I got it. But then it got sent to me in PR and I was super happy. So this is what the palette actually looks like. You have a really pretty bronzer, a really pretty blush, and two highlighter shades. This palette is so pretty. Oh my gosh, um, I've used this quite a bit just because I really wanted to obviously test it and try it and see what the formula is like. Now, this palette, when I first saw it, it really gave me the Becca, Chloe, and Malika vibe that they did on their collab that I bought. Um, that palette to me is just lacking pigment and it's very glittery, um, where this one 
you look at it and you're like wow that looks really intimidating and glittery but honestly the way these powders perform on the skin is incredible they just melt and glide onto your skin absolutely gorgeous so um this palette was pretty much everything i wanted the chloe and malika one to be and this one is definitely worth the money i can say i would have spent 75 dollars on this and been extremely happy with the product so these two products are actually pretty interesting another product i've never tried from charlotte tilbury these are her collagen lip bath collagen enhanced lip plumping effect these are pretty much glosses in the lip in the lip in the glow gasm collection there are two colors and they're actually really really pretty i'm really excited to try these um, one of them is more like an orangey pink golden one and that one is in the shade peach plump and then this one is in the shade rosy glow more of like a rose nude color once again both these products the, I'm really excited to try that's a really interesting applicator it's like the shape of a heart I don't know if it's pulling up oops I just got it on my on my nose they smell, they smell like mint, obviously, because they are more of like a plumping gloss. So really excited to try these out. And then the last things in this collection are eye products. Oh my God, these are so good. Um, I've tried these. I feel so bad that I've tried like half the stuff in this collection, but honestly, when I got it on my front door, I was so excited because they were products I've been wanting to try for a while. These are the eyes to mesmerize long lasting easy colors. Another product that is very expensive that I wouldn't just purchase without, you know, looking at it or trying it in person because it is expensive. But now that I've tried these, oh my God, they are so, so, so good. You have the shade Rose Gold and the shade Star Gold. Um, when I show you guys my Beautylish order, um, I actually almost picked up more of these, but I was like, you know what? These have a lot of product in the pots. I might as well just use these two. Um, and not pick up another one until I'm like dried out of these or until I use quite a bit since these shades are really nice. The rose gold one I've used the most and it is amazing. These are so easy to put on your eye and they blend out amazing. They also don't give like that weird crease in your eye and they just look absolutely beauty beauty they look absolutely beautiful and last a very long time. So another really expensive Charlotte Tilbury product that is bomb. Lastly, in the Glowgasm collection, she sent over the Dreamgasm Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this is a four pan eyeshadow palette and it is just gorgeous. Um, you guys can tell I've used that rose gold color. These are all shimmer shades, but I take this rose gold color on top of the eyes to mesmerize just to pack it and add a little bit more shimmer. And then you have like a brow bone highlight, a darker one, and then like a bronzy shade. A really, really, really pretty palette. I'll swatch some of the shades for you guys. Some of the shades in this are more opaque than others. And then like the rose gold one's a little bit more thinner and more of like a glitter texture to it. I'm literally looking at my monitor and I've already been filming like 20 minutes. So holy guacamole. I don't, I feel like I didn't even have that much packages but it goes by really fast. This is just a quick little repurchase I bought. Um, this is the KKW Beauty Contour Sticks. Um, I got the shade light. They're dual ended. You guys have seen me talk about these and use these all the time on my channel. I'm not going to waste a lot of time on these products, but they are really bomb. I really like KKW as a brand. I think she has amazing complexion products. This and her concealer are like holy grail go to everyday products. I always keep on my vanity area. Next up. We just need a moment of silence, you guys, okay? This came in the mail the other day, and when I got it, and I saw who it was from, I knew what it was, and I was so excited. It's so pretty. This is the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. You guys, oh my God, oh my God. She has done it again. Another one of my queens. I'm obsessed with Natasha Denona. Um, I always talk about her on my channel and her products. Obviously, I'm on her PR list, and I am so grateful, forever thankful. I love Natasha Denona. She can do no wrong in my eyes. It's gorgeous. I haven't touched it. I haven't swatched it. I haven't used it. I feel like at this point of the game, I don't really need to, like, swatch her palettes to 
see what I'm going to get because I already know what I'm going to get with her as a brand. But this is what the Sunrise palette looks like. Now, okay, it might not look like it on camera, but the pans are smaller than all of her larger palettes she's come out with before. So I'm going to show you guys an example of what I mean. Um, this one here is one of her newer ones that she came out with and it is the Biba palette This is like the most neutral palette that she has come out with in her line But um, like you guys can see the size difference Completely different like the sunrise palette is much much smaller I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys so you're able to see this is what the difference of them looks like same amount of shades but this one is much smaller, but it's actually like when you look at it, it's smaller compared to her normal ones, but it's still a lot of product. And another awesome thing about this Sunrise palette is that it retails for $65, which I know you're like, that's a lot, but not really because if you look like in an Urban Decay Naked palette, those are 54 or 50 bucks. So for 10 or $11 more, you can get a Natasha Denona one. Um, yes, please sign me up. Whereas like the Biba palette, the Sunset palette, the Safari palette, all those palettes are $130 palettes. Whereas this one, $65. It's crazy. Um, I really want to do a makeup look with this palette because when I look at this Sunrise palette, I just get hella inspo. This package, when I got it in the mail, I had no idea what it was. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. It's from, Urban Decay, it's from Urban Decay, and obviously on the front it says her version, which is their mascara if you're not familiar. <coughs> yeah, so they sent over this. They sent me a Perversion Volumizing Mascara. They sent me a Perversion Waterproof Mascara, and they also sent me a Perversion Eye Pen, like uh, eyeliner. I've actually never tried this... Um, mascara before so I'm gonna go ahead and open it and leave it on my desk so I'm able to and I'm gonna show you guys Ooh, the wand looks very promising that's what the wand looks like it looks really good it looks like my type of wand so I'm really excited to try this guy out thank you so much Urban Decay for sending this over I'm saving my Beautylish order for last um this one is from cover girl um, they sent this over last week and let's see what is in it. I, I, I'm lying. I know what's in it because I've seen other people unbox this. So you already know this is the first thing I have to pull out of this PR package because it is so bougie. Let's see. Oh my god. They're PR packaging though. Like, hi, hello. Yes, I'm a queen. All right, thanks CoverGirl. They sent me a little crown. I mean, it's not a little, she big, but they sent over a crown in this PR package. Um, hi, <laughs> it's so cute. I'm gonna wear it just for a little bit though because it's kind of annoying. But anyways, this is the Turn to Can Queen Ship Palette. CoverGirl has a ton of palettes like this that are really, really bomb. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. That gold color looks very promising. And this is a CoverGirl Rain eyeshadow palette. This is kind of different from CoverGirl actually. This looks like a larger palette than I've ever seen them do before. I'm trying to open it. It's cute. And then they also sent, oh my God. How many eyeshadow palettes are in here? Yeah, I'm not opening all of these because I'm gonna put some of these in giveaways. But they sent over three other eyeshadow palettes. First up is the Rev Revolution palette. They also sent me the Overthrown palette. And lastly, they sent me the Ascension palette. Okay, whenever I hear Ascension, I think of Riverdale now. You know? You know. Oh my god. Wow. What are these? These are... The True Naked Queenship Cream Shadow Sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they sent over eight different colors of these. Me oh my, I'm never gonna use all of these. So once again, I'm just gonna throw these in a giveaway pile probably, except a few of them that I do wanna try because I'm always on the hunt for like 
eyeshadow sticks or eyeshadow creams like these Charlotte Tilbury ones. I really enjoy playing with them and using them. Glitter eyeshadows. These are giving me total Stila glitter and glow vibes, which I'm not mad at, but they sent over um, seven of them. So these are what, whoop, these are what these look like. Really, really pretty and glittery. I'm really excited to try these actually. Um, this one I'm, is really pretty. It's like a smoky one. So I'm excited to try these because the packaging is identical to the steel one. Last but not least, this is a Beautylish order that I placed with my own coin. So first up, they sent over this instant cleansing balm. Beautylish always sends samples, which I really like. Um, and their packaging is always on point. I did unbox this already because they come in individually wrapped bags and I just ain't no lot of time for that on camera, okay? Okay. All right, first up, this was just a repurchase. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Mist. It's easily become my favorite setting mist, so I had to pick up another one because I knew I was running out. And then I also picked up this. This is the Jouer Essential high coverage liquid concealer. I actually used it today and I'm not mad at it. I think it was cute. Um, everyone was like raving about this for such a long time and then I kind of feel like I haven't heard anyone talk about it for a while. So I went ahead and picked it up. It was okay. Um, the scent, yeah, the scent threw me off. It has a nice doe foot. I'm going to have to keep playing with it, but as of now, I'm still in love with the L'Oreal one and the KKW Beauty one that I've been using. So to replace those two, since they are like holy grail to me, is going to take a lot. So let's just say that. Let's just say that. Mic drop. Um, let's stay on brand. Okay. Okay. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I'll show you guys these. So these are the new Jeffree Star The Gloss. Um... Honestly, I watched and swatch videos of people using them and I wasn't that impressed with them But glosses I feel like are very very hard to tell what they look like on camera You really need to see them in person and look at them in person because they just look completely different on camera So I just picked up two shades I picked up the legends only and the control freak This is what the packaging looks like this one here is Legends Only, and it's just a really pretty true nude. I actually have it on my lips right now, and I love it. And then this one is Legends Only. It's a really pretty baby pink. Um, I didn't put this one on me, obviously, but it's just a really nice sheer baby pink. Like I said, glosses are probably the hardest thing to judge online because you just never know what you're gonna get and these two are really pretty very very similar though um i really like them though because these are the kind of glosses that like i can have on my makeup stand wipe them on really quick and use them i will say i'm not crazy about the packaging though um i don't really care about packaging on products that much i like more of like a simple clean look um so yeah also Last thought about these, I picked these up because the only like um, gloss I've been using lately has been the KKW and Mario Super Nude one, and I really like that nude gloss, so I wanted to try a different brand new gloss, and that one's actually really good. I'm really liking it on my lips. It's not sticky, and it just feels really hydrating. And then the last few products I got are all from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, listen to me, okay? I've been wanting these products from her for quite some time now so I went ahead and just bit the bullet and picked them up I did pick up four different products from her yes like I said I get sent PR from her but um, when I want to try a product from a brand and even if I am on their PR list I don't mind spending the money to purchase products I want to try because they support me and I want to support them so this is the airbrush flawless finish number one setting powder oh my god oh my god oh my god I repurchased this because I've been out of this guy for quite some time now. When I tell you this is the best, the best setting powder ever, it's the best. Like, it's absolutely amazing. I hit pan on this when I first bought it so fast. Um, I miss having it in my collection. It gives such a pretty airbrush look to the skin. So I'm really happy to have this guy back. And then another product, I'll just keep it on the face. 
This is the Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder. This is a soft focusing light diffusing loose powder. I got the shade One Fair. I saw Tony Dallas talking about this powder on her channel and I really like products she recommends. That's also why I picked up the Huda Beauty one. Her and her sister Allie recommended this. So I picked that up because of them and then I picked this up because of Tony. Um, like I said, I got the shade One Fair. She does have a lot of shades in this powder. Oh my God. Okay. This powder is hella good. Um, I usually use the Laura Mercier one and I love it, but damn, this powder is so, so good. I only have used it once. I used it today. I don't even know how to explain this powder. So amazing. Like it gives such a pretty look to the skin and it looks really good. Like in person, I'm looking at it on my, my mirror situation here. It just looks amazing. I highly recommend this powder. It reminds me of the Hourglass Veil, except better. So highly recommend this. And then the last two products I picked up from Charlotte Tilbury and for this whole haul. The first thing is the Bar of Gold palette. I have wanted this highlighter palette for quite some time now. And I just decided to bite the bullet and get it because um, I've been really enjoying like a more warm golden highlighter like you guys can see. You guys can see or you have been able to see even on Instagram. I've been enjoying a more warmer looking highlight and I always felt like this was just a little bit too warm for me since I really liked white icy ones. So now that I'm more into like golden highlights, I really wanted to give this a try. You have a really pretty white gold, a really pretty pink, and then you have a really pretty like topaz true one. But like you guys can see them swatched here, they do pour more, they do pull more on a warmer tone, especially when they're on the cheeks. It's what I'm wearing today as my highlighter and it's absolutely gorgeous. I really enjoy the formula and I'm really happy that I picked up the bar of gold. Last product in this haul, another product I've wanted from Charlotte Tilbury for at least two years now because I remember sitting in my car waiting for my class to start in college when she promoted this lipstick line and specifically this lipstick color for like tons of big YouTubers. And I remember wanting it then and just never justifying the price on a lipstick. But I will say, I tried buying the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. I went through the thing, it said order place and I never got any confirmation. They said wait 30 minutes, I waited, still nothing. I went to rebuy everything and it was all sold out. So I was like, you know what? I don't need Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. I'll just get them later. I'm just gonna spoil myself and buy a Charlotte Tilbury one. So I went ahead and got the Kim KW Nude. Oh my God. It's what I'm wearing today. Okay, first of all, it's like the perfect nude. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. I love more of like a pinky toned nude. It's coming up darker on camera than it actually applies to the lips. On the lips, it looks absolutely gorgeous and it's also more of like a glossy hydrating formula. It's not matte, it doesn't ball up or cake. It just looks really, really pretty on your actual lips. Holy guacamole, you guys. That was a lot of makeup. And now I'm like looking at it and I'm like, who's gonna put all this away for me? Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it for this haul. I know this video is super long, but what are you gonna do, you know? This is a makeup channel and here we talk about makeup. So. That's everything I picked up the past week or so in my life. I'm really excited to try these products, keep using them. Um, I'm going to be doing like um, kind of first impressions using new products like the Charlotte Tilbury powder I'll talk to you guys more about, her products I got, the Sunrise palette, all that kind of stuff. Lots of exciting things coming on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave me your comments down below, and let me know if you guys want to see more makeup hauls, PR unboxings, because I'm always down to try new things on my channel. And without further ado, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys!